This is something you probably won't see often if you've not driven the roads of Thailand. It's the hard work these guys have to do laying this road in the hot sun. And it's certainly not lost on me guys, my ability to travel and hit the open road for any of us to travel around Thailand is built on the backs of these people working their ass off all day in the hot sun and they're building they're building these roads and it, since I last drove here which is a couple of years ago they've really built they built them up a lot more This is back-breaking work, guys. This is hard work. No safety goggles. It's just... Laying concrete for these roads. And I remember driving these roads a couple of years ago and it was nowhere near this well-developed. These guys really do work hard. And not just men as well, women. There's a lot of women I haven't seen any young'uns here, any kids or whatnot. But the women are working, laying these roads, and it is it's hard work. And it's never ending, like the whole idea of it, it's like, you just gotta keep going, you gotta keep building the road all the way down. And it's not gonna end anytime soon, you know. They've probably done miles and miles since I was last here. Um, it's, it's much nicer for the car to drive on but the amount of hard work that these men and women put into building these roads often un, unrewarded and undiscussed of course like who's vlogging construction workers on roads <laughs> nobody me <laughs> i just think it's uh often just unspoken unspoken about now a lot of these workers some are thai a lot of them are Burmese and it's just amazing what humans can do there's no big machinery here these guys are all working basically by hand so this is where the road joins up here it's a hell of a job hell of a job and you can see it's mainly women as well what do you got? Many women in the hot sun putting the concrete on here. Bloody hard job, guys. So, and I just knackered the front bumper driving over this unfinished road. I hit a rock in the middle of the road, which is another reason that I miss Betty Blue. You know, Betty Blue, she's, a, she's I had to lift it up so you can drive over anything. So, now I'm in the small car, it's not quite the same. You can't off-road. And this is the kind of trip you need the off-road for. But the aircon is better in this car. <laughs> More comfortable. Um, I guess that's the insight. I mean, what else can I say? Nothing can be done about it. These people have to work these terrible shifts. Sometimes seven days a week as well. Like they don't get any time off. And that's what they have to do. For, for crap wages but I guess it's around the world anybody is involved in building roads construction of skyscrapers and big buildings it's similar but the particular challenge here is the hot sun the hot sun guys it's that's what makes it more difficult even now I'm out the car for only five minutes and and it's bloody hot I think being on the open concrete road makes it even even more hot you know so back to the car that's the insight on the road workers here in Thailand and what is to learn from this I guess just gratitude gratitude like if you're having a hard day or things aren't working out how you planned you know if um, if you peed off about something if life isn't going to plan it could be worse you could be building roads 
here in Thailand in the hot sun with no scope of an out. You know, these people aren't sa on pensions and saving up for a future, for a future. Perhaps they're building houses uh, where they are, but usually the incomes only cover the, the costs, you know. They live in these shanty towns that they build locally here. So I guess it's a small lesson on gratitude. So I've realized I forgot my fan. And I'm gonna need a fan if I'm camping and I have the solar. Like it's your only way of like staying um, cool. And so I stopped in this little area here. Let's ask the dude uh, what this one is. You got your clock shop. I'm hoping he's gonna have a fan. I have a fan here. So this little place is called Lam La Lai, he tells me, and no fan, he has no fan. So it's going to be a little shop around, I think. I, I need to get one here because you'll definitely not find one out in the rural areas. And I can say that I've never been to this little town. Um, yeah, I've certainly not, never been here before. This is a first for me. So I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. Any more guy, cup? Guy. How many Sam Mai, cup? So these are the sort of the chicken, Sam Mai. Mai just means wood, but. But you, you say like three, Sam, my, wood, three wood to order these ones. Okay. It's a mini adventure. That's what the adventure's all about, isn't it? See these little areas that you just never stopped by, never seen before. Uh, but I guess they all kind of look a bit the same. These little cities and towns, they always look so similar and it's quite a built up urban area so but I guess if you don't watch a lot of Thailand vlogs and you're quite new to it all you actually wouldn't have seen much of this it's um it's not normal to you if you live in Thailand this is this is a pretty bog standard little city nothing that really makes it stand out other than the hills that are surrounding it over there Nice. Oh yeah, he's making these. A little beautiful plat carving them out here. Like some nice ones. I wouldn't like to wear that every day though. It's like wearing a rock around your neck. So here we go. This is the kind of shop I'm looking for. And that's perfect. A little green fan. Scan died, am I up? Cock on my cap. So this is 390 baht. Die cap. This is 390 baht. I asked, can I scan to pay? And he said, Ongun nai banchi, which means send the money to the account. Right, so that's that job done. That's a fan. Small one because it has to run off the solar, and the solar runs off a car battery and I don't want that battery to run flat. I'm mainly camping up in the hills with the hill drive. Kerhab, he's selling jewelry in there. I'm mainly camping up in the hills, so in some areas there is no electricity. And for tonight, for this drive, I'm not sure if I rent a place, jump in a hotel, or I'll actually pull over to the side of the road and camp. I've not made up my mind yet. Depends how I feel after another six or seven hours driving and kind of where you end up. I don't want to stay next to a smoky, horrible road. Um, but yeah, job done, fan I got. So if you're ever wondering how easy it is to buy a fan in a random town in Thailand, it's that easy guys, it's that easy. 390 baht as well. And it's something that you use at home anyway, like it's not just for this trip. You... Lord knows you need fans in Thailand, let me just put it that way.
have seen there go past the police they are transporting a politician that happens a lot on the road here and when you're traveling in Thailand they they get like an escort a police escort it's uh, sometimes they're on buses there's just buses full of politicians so I'm, I'm heading on to Pechaboon now and uh, I was just thinking about this trip like how I wanted to explain kind of what I'm doing uh, for me I don't really see this as like a tourist thing if I go with Otis it's like a tourist thing like we're going to see some sites and you know vlog that that tourist thing like I'm not really a travel vlogger so it's it's not really my cup of tea I don't actually enjoy editing that kind of stuff as well because I just think it's a little bit boring like it's the same old thing done over and over again by many many vloggers like come see this place or that place uh, with Tis, uh, with Otis I like to do it because it's the first time he sees it you know he's, he's only little so he's never seen this stuff before so I enjoy doing it then uh, with him but not so much uh, alone no I mean this I mean if I really go into what I think I'm doing here what I feel I'm doing here it's like it is a journey of people when you start off traveling many people think you're traveling places and that might be the case for people all their lives like uh, even older people that travel a lot they, they may still consider that the location is the most important thing to them and that's great for me I'm traveling people I love to meet the people like especially the different Thai people there's a coffee place here I'm gonna stop for a coffee I think it's my favorite one too I can tell you an unbranded coffee like this coffee place usually it's hit and miss of whether it's good or not but we'll give it a try yeah not a bad little place buddy cab say buddy my cab I have a particular pain in the ass coffee order because I ask for no sugar and I always have only one shot of coffee because it's too strong otherwise so it's a particularly, it's, it's quite an art to get it right, let's put it that way. <laughs> and, but it's not annoying for Thai people, I mean, just, I mean they really get it right. They really get it right. As I've quit before on the vlog, um, sometimes they'll end up putting sugar in it and I'll say, oh, you know, I asked for no sugar and they'll say, yeah, but it doesn't taste good if you don't put any sugar in it. <laughs> so they, they make the decision for you. Um, and then they always put too much coffee. You know, I like a real milky brew, very little caffeine. That'll do me just nicely. <clears throat> I, I want to say this. I, I wish this for all of you guys, not just for Thailand, but the ability to to travel, to hit the open road, to have freedom, emancipation from certain work duties or modern enslavement, um, as it could be viewed. I hope. That all of you have the ability to feel what I feel when I travel which is that white bliss of freedom in the chest you know the open road putting some classic tunes on that I enjoy and then just knowing there's an adventure ahead people ahead to meet places to see uh, things to do and and then also knowing you know family are safe and, <clears throat> and happy Dan was very happy with her mum with the family there and and just tissues at school so yeah I, I wish that for everybody every one of the viewers I imagine that's why you watch this thing to just see some temporary insight to that kind of travel and so yeah I wish it for you and um, I'm sure it will be for, for many of you well I know it already has because I always meet people in Thailand like I'll, I'll be in the supermarket or something they'll be like hey naked guru I watched you during lockdown I watched been watching the channel and now I'm here myself and I'm gonna have no viewers left soon because eventually everyone's just gonna have moved to Thailand or to the east and there'll be nobody to watch these things anymore. But until then, um, I hope that you you do, you're planning it or you, you get to do, you get to feel that, that freedom. Uh, I wanna inspire that in people. Oh Susanna, don't cry for me. We had some good years, so let me be The world goes on I sang my song I gave 
amount you love for you to see Oh Susanna Don't you cry Hold the tears back and dry your eyes What's this life without a sweet goodbye 